when we have cold, we see a doctor, get more rest, and drink more water. When we discover we have a tumor, we go on medication and head for an operation. But why is it that when we have constipation or diarrhea, we just bear with it? Let's understand our colon a little better. Our colon is an S-shaped curve. If we take it out and arrange it neatly, it is six times a person's height. As the colon is within our body, we cannot see it. Many people don't go for detoxification simply because they don't see its importance. U.S. medical experts who have done over 20,000 autopsies discovered that not a single person had a healthy colon because none of these 20,000 people had seen their own colon. Therefore, no one went for detoxification. That is also why none of their colons were healthy. Why do we often hear of growths in the colon? It is because our colon is the dirtiest organ. It does not have any sensations, so we don't feel uncomfortable. This is the reason why many people are often unaware that they have colorectal cancer. Colorectal cancer has become increasingly common and even occurs to young people. Some people may wonder why people get colorectal cancer. According to experts, it is because people love to eat fried food but have low fiber intake. This causes chronic constipation whereby toxins are not excreted. Many pathogens are caused by toxins. Where do toxins come from? It is caused by coprostatis. What is coprostatis? Do you sometimes feel that everything has not been cleared even after a bowel movement? If the answer is yes, then you may have coprostasis. If you perform a detoxification and seem to pass out a lot more during that visit to the toilet, then you should take heed. Coprostasis can obstruct your intestinal tract. Even straight pipes can have obstructions. Want more our colon which has an S shape? Every piece of stubborn stool inside the colon has been accumulated over a period of time causing the obstruction. Many women have constipation as they are afraid to drink water and head for the toilet. So they just refrain from drinking. But when they refrain, their stools start to harden and stick to their intestinal walls, resulting in coprostasis. According to experts, food residues that remain in the body can produce 22 types of toxins. The accumulation of these toxins will lead to chronic self-poisoning. Japanese experts also say that if our three-day-old feces were to be injected into mice, the mice would die. In other words, if we do not pass motion for three days, we must have immediately detoxify. Mice have much smaller feces, in which case they would immediately die. However, humans are larger in size and it may not immediately fatal, but it will gradually result in chronic poisoning. Some experts point out that even if we pass motion every day, there are still about 6 to 10 pounds of stools in our body. That's a few kilograms of stool in the colon. And we carry this around with us when we shop or watch a movie. That's an unpleasant thought. Coprostosis in the colon will cause a decline in the body's ability to detoxify and slow down metabolism, leading to self-poisoning. That's why coprostasis is the culprit of all diseases. What should we do? The solution is to detoxify and increase our body's number of good bacteria, lactic acid bacteria. The first thing to do is to detox. Everyone knows that the best way to solve this problem is detoxification. There are plenty of detox products in the market, but it's often difficult to make a choice. Many people would choose to take fiber to detox, but the effect is relatively slow. Fujita lactose uses a combination of bifidus bacteria and glucose to produce a CO2 expansion effect. This helps in intestinal peristaltic movements as the gas expands the intestinal walls. This expansion effect delivers results which are faster and more complete. More importantly, it has no side effects. Fujita lactose is a type of natural food and naturally produce CO2, carbon dioxide, to expel the accumulated stool. After passing motion, you will feel a lightness that you have never felt before. The second reason is to regularly replenish the good bacteria in your body. Good bacteria help in digestion, inhibit bad bacteria, 
assist in detoxification and enhance your skin texture. People who suffer from hemorrhoids will experience a better result. Bad bacteria also make food spoil and turn them into toxins. This results in a bloated stomach and excessive flatulence, which is embarrassing. Secondly, it also results in bad breath, which may sometimes be unbearable for people around us. It's also embarrassing to tell a person they have bad breath, as it may hurt their feelings. Some people have body odor after they exercise and tend to have back aches. These may also be one of the symptoms of corpostasis. Thirdly, these can result in frequent illnesses due to excessive toxins in the body as the liver becomes overburdened and immunity starts to decline. Fourthly, people may develop skin problems and become prone to pimples. Why do many beauticians suggest detoxification? Because they know that sports, freckles and acne are caused by toxins within the body. If you have corpostasis, you will easily tire it even though you have plenty of sleep. For instance, you may sleep for 10 or even 12 hours but still wake up feeling tired. If these always occur to you, perhaps you should consider whether you lack of good bacteria. How can good bacteria or lactic acid bacteria help you? Taking lactic acid bacteria can prevent aging, reduce wrinkles and increase youthfulness and beauty. That's why many beauty programs recommend taking lactic acid bacteria. As there is an abundance of good bacteria and harmful bacteria in our intestines, it is now quite common to take lactic acid bacteria for gut health. If you like eating meat, your gut would usually be full of harmful bacteria as meat is difficult to digest. Most meat lovers have unhealthy intestines that are full of toxins. The number of harmful bacteria can also increase as people grow older or have chronic constipation. Do we have enough good bacteria? If you want to tell whether a child is healthy, find out from looking at his stool. Adults should also check their own stool to discover the state of their health. In the past, we maintain our gut health solely with fiber. Today, we know that active probiotics are required to effectively help us maintain gastrointestinal health. Maintain gut health and win the gut war for longevity.